both the pro and the free version of cases, come with comprehensive functionality and examples for the design of turbo machinery components, such as impeller blades. With version 3.1, we introduced a new curve type called meridional camber curve. In this video, we want to take a closer look at this important curve. It affects the 3D shape of the blade, and it gets controlled by typical parameters that are common in the design of centrifugal devices. This model is based on parametric hub and shroud curves that describe the meridional contour. We want to focus on the parametric blade geometry. The hub and the shroud part of the blade are designed separately. The two camber curves at hub and shroud are based on the 2D meridional contours. They are shown here as dashed curves. Secondly, an angle distribution needs to be provided. Such an angle function controls how the camera curve is defined on the 3D surface of revolution. Let's take a closer look at the hub curves. We switch off the surfaces and profiles for the time being. The beta angle distribution of the hub is a simple B spline curve. It can be any kind of curve type. Typically, this curve is varied automatically in design studies and shape optimizations. This is the new curve type, called meridional camber curve. First of all, you need to set the 2D meridional contour. Then, you choose a developing law and enter the beta angle distribution. There's also a factor for the beta function, because the function is often given in a normalized definition. The factor simply scales up the ordinate values. In addition, you can tell the curve where the zero angle is given. Click on the type icon for a more detailed documentation. The type documentation explains how the beta distribution is applied. Further settings are described as well. Finally, there is a simple example project that comes with cases. It demonstrates everything that is described in here. From the two camber curves at hub and shroud, you can create a camber surface. In this project, the camber surface is additionally enlarged for cutting purposes at a later stage. The blade profile is based on two given thickness distributions, again, one for the hub and one for the shroud. The thickness function is an arbitrary curve for which a leading edge blend position is defined as well. The thickness is then applied normal to the camber surface. The final blade surface is generated between the two profiles. Note that three or more profiles can be considered as well for more complex 3D shapes. As a last step, the blade is combined with the hub geometry and a fillet is created between the hub and the blade. 